interesting. Uh, what we want to do, we don't have much time today, do we, Ryan? It's going to be a quick, quick deal. But what we're trying to do here is share ideas with you and you brides especially, which way you want to go with your hair. I know a lot of us do the traditional updos, which what we're going to we're going to show a little bit today, and we're also going to do some do downs. Okay. A lot of times you'll see yourself in a photograph and you'll say, I wish I would have had my hair down. So it's your decision and, and one way or another you gotta make that before you you know get those photographs done from a great photographer. And have you noticed things like that around that happen when you have uh, brides getting married? Yeah, in fact, a lot of brides that I talk to after the wedding, when they've come in to, to do family pictures and stuff afterwards, sometimes they'll tell me, you know, I wish I would have done my hair down because after I got married, I chopped it all off. And, and it would have been nice to have it down. So that's not always the way that you want to go, but if you have nice long hair and you like the way it looks when it's long, it might be an opportunity or a, 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 an option to do it down instead of up. Just some different ways to think about things. And what we want to do today is, is, is make a marriage between the hairstylist, makeup artist, and the photographer. Most important day of your life, brides. Getting those photographs done. You're gonna, I look at the ones I got married in. Oh, 1979. Ouch. We did our 30 year anniversary. Anyway, we look back on those, those uh, the dresses were, you know, gunny sack looking kind of thing. But we look back and we always cherish those moments, so it's important to make that decision. Are we going to show a little video to get going here? Yeah, Paul, can we start that video? And Paul. while we're doing that, I want to introduce to you uh, one of the most phenomenal stylist we have at the salon, at Thomas Hardy Salon on 25th Street. She's incredible to do work with updos and, and bridal hair, and also a phenomenal color and cutting, and extensions for those brides that want to have a little extra hair for the wedding. You're thinking about it, aren't you? Maybe have a little bit fall. I saw some heads shaking yes up here. Castley, Costly, can you come on up? Let's give Castley a big hand. And her sister Lexi's gonna be a model. And she's going to kind of explain a little bit about what she's going to do today with her hair. And Ryan, maybe she can talk a little bit about this to begin with while she's going. Yeah, um, this is my little sister Lexi, and she was kind enough to come down from Wyoming to be my, my, my little model. And what we're doing with Lexi, I wanted to show before I did an updo, like they said, lots of people end up doing their hair down. And right now, the loose, pretty curl is very in. And so I wanted to show you that it's very possible to do something. cascade a little bit and and that makes a beautiful photograph and, and working well with the dress that you have and everything like that. I want to demonstrate a little bit of our, uh, something maybe you haven't seen in different ways to get that cascade curl that you want and um, Jordan can you come up? I've asked her to come up. Let's give Jordan a hand. She's going to come up here a while. Now while she's giving up, or coming up I have a couple more things, a couple more giveaways. I have a few airplanes here that have a free engagement session in them. Who would like a free engagement session? There's one, here's another one over here. Good. Here's one coming out. Here's one right here. All right. Okay. I got my toolbox and got some bungee boards and cut them, okay? I use ropes also. You can use rags, you can use balloons, whatever you want to get a certain type of curl. And, and um, we actually used to do perms. How many used to get perms out there? Nobody probably, there's a few. We're aging ourselves, believe me. 30 years ago, I was probably doing 15, 12 a week. Now, I, if I do one perm a month, it's, it's lucky at the salon. But um, this is a great way to put curl in your hair, and it gives it a little different twist. 
And what you need to do is, we're going to take sections of hair. I'm going to add a little bit of, of light hold spray. Can you hold that? I've got you holding too many things. And a little paper. And we're going to roll this up. And we're going to do a twist and, and twist it around and twist. And it's causing another kink, a kink in the hair. And then we're going to come around this way. And we're going to simply tie it off. And it's a great quick way of, of doing like a set, OK? I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of a hair dryer on here. And there again, you can let this sit for quite a while if you want. Or you can do it with a dry with a little bit of hairspray on it. I'm going to give it a little more touch of spray just in case. How many of you um, have your flat irons going and making a nice curl with the flat irons? All of you? You got to be careful when you're doing that not to. Are you getting build up on your flat iron? Are you getting build up with the hairspray? You gotta be careful because you wanna make sure you're using products that don't build up on the hair because it'll dry your hair out and make it and make it nasty. Okay? So you gotta take good care of your hair that way when you're doing styles. While we're letting this dry a little bit, Cassie, maybe you can go ahead and explain a little bit more about which direction you're going. Before I put it all up, I wanted to show a few different ideas in between. Just on the screen, um, there's a, a different, totally different look that we did earlier this week. More of an elegant swept back all out of her face with a sleek look that kind of centralized in that one little area. However, there are so many different looks. For like to do right now, I'm pulling it kind of in half up where we can put the veil right here. And what's really great about having it half up is if you have a lot of design and a lot of detail on the front of your dress, you don't want your hair hanging over it. You want to see that. So bringing the hair back really allows you to see all the detail here and allows you to see the jewelry that you picked out. When you're doing your hair up, you need to decide if you want the volume to be down by kind of the neck area, have it come swept back and have it down here. You need to decide if you want it half, kind of in the middle of your head, or if you want to take it and have it all up here, kind of in a classic bridal up do. There are so many different options, and the things that play into those options are your dress, um, your veil, your accessories, and your jewelry. So make sure when you come in for a consultation with your stylist that you bring all of those things, at least a picture or a good explanation of your dress and your veil and your jewelry. Good. Can I make what? one more comment on the, as far as the photography and the dress goes, on a dress, there's usually what's called a show side of the dress. The show side of the dress on the skirt part is the part that has all the detail on it. It might be beadwork, it might be ruffles, or, or, or things like that. When you take pictures of, of a dress like that, that's the side of the dress that you want towards the camera. Now, if your hair is done in the wrong way, and when she's talking about a consultation, you want, that's why you want to take a picture of your dress or an explanation of your dress. Because the way you part your hair, whatever side you part your hair on, you want to photograph into the open side of that hair. Uh, and that oh, you want the open side of your hair to be on the same side as the, the detailed part of the dress or the show part of the dress. Otherwise, when, you, when you're showing that detailed part of the dress, your hair is coming in front of your face and, and blocking off your eyes and, and, uh, and the rest of your face. Awesome. Yeah, how important this all is to get that perfect photograph and combine and have that synchronized thing to happen for you on that day.